Looney Farm Guy here, and this is the Case IH Axle Flow 130 Series by Agritono on Farming Simulator 22. It's for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 here on the Georgia Farms map for this test of these two case harvesters. 29.64 megabytes to download slots. Oh, yes, slot counts. We are looking at 17 and 16 slots each on console. Um, these are, this, these are really nice. Uh, got quite a number of options. As you can see, the sides lift up and you can see the uh, inner workings to see how much work actually went into these with the design, uh, quite detailed inside. So we'll take a look at that. Um, but first of all, uh, let's find them in the store. And they're going to be under uh, vehicles and harvesters. And it's just the harvesters in this pack. No, nothing else. No other um, headers or anything else. So you'll have to use your own um, attachments. So the first one we're going to look at is the Axel Flow 4130. $111,500 to purchase. 299 horsepower. CVT transmission. 950 liters of fuel. 19 mile per hour top speed. And a 7,050 liter um, hopper capacity of all your usual grain types excuse me so we have wheel brands we have continental michelin trailerborg minus vertistein lizard and continental and they all have the same options so we have standard two transport transport two twin wheels which look very nice are my favorite twin wheels two and then back to standard and if we go through the rest of them they all um, they all have the same options there for um, combination wheel combinations and so forth. So we're not going to bore you through all of those. Lizard, we have like a rice wheel style. Uh, it says transport, but the the uh, the tread style looks like a rice wheel type style. So we'll stick with Continental, and we can go with the twins. Window film standard one two and three smoked monitor this is uh, a extra monitor inside the cab if you can see there it's uh, just a decoration it doesn't really do anything at least not on console bulk carrier standard we have with bows or covered bows with canvas just a visual of course <clears throat> ladder that's the right side ladder small or big Traffic lights. Well, those are actually signal lights, as you can see here. If you don't have them, you may have a yes. So we'll 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 show that there. You can actually move those. Back gauge. So that's talking about the width of your uh, rear axle. Rim color gray or black now if we pop over here we actually have um so we have an option of capacities here eleven thousand two hundred with bows and uh, cover and then you have the fourteen thousand two hundred with bows or cover uh, so you can swap between those two. No charge for any of those. So we'll like uh, go for the bigger one. Yes. Engines. We have the Axle Flow 5130. As indicated on the side of the vehicle at 319 horsepower. We got the 6130 at 387. The 7130 at 443. And uh, yeah, those are your three choices of engines. $35,000 for the extra horsepower. Uh, again, wheel brands are the same choices as we had with the other one, uh, with the same options here. Notice the uh, the width of the ladder, or the, uh, yeah, if you put duals, or if you have, yeah, the same on the other one. Window fill, fil film, monitor, ladder, traffic lights, gauge. Uh, this one does have an option for uh, length of your unloading pipe, 7 meters, 7.9, 8.3, 
or the 7.9, uh, 7, 7. So, light on there. There's a light. Yeah, just the length. It doesn't fold. Just, um, just the length. Right. And then uh, license plate. All right. So, uh, let's hop into the 4130. That is the smaller of the two. As you can see, I have... been testing it and it is full of grain so uh, why don't we um why don't we just get a big old wag not auger well why not why not an auger wagon why not let's just get the big old auger no let's not get that because it has a cover on it you know what let's just cheat a little bit shall we we're just trying to show it emptying out how fast does it empty out and it'll be much easier just to do it like this uh, and with help window on there we go so pipe out let's see how fast it will unload these 7500 liters and it looks like it's pretty standard um, unloading speed as you would expect um, pretty realistic right so I have optioned this with a few things like the signals so let's look at the lights so lots of lights everywhere even interior lights and our signals right and left signals we do have a beacon <coughs> right so we have a lot of uh, before we take it out we have a lot of options to show you let's turn off the lights uh, we can go inside for a minute and take a look around but we'll back we'll be back in here uh, let's turn off and start it up again we'll see the startup on the monitor so actually it has mile per hour like kilometer or kph in there but nothing else that's pretty much all that moves on there as far as i know or as i could tell right stuff out other stuff moves along in here so that's pretty nice uh pretty standard stuff there okay options control group external animations one so if we press that again ex internal animations so we're going to go for external animations first l1 we have the yeah the, the normal stuff that you always see pipe out enable straw swath etc etc r1 here's where it starts getting interesting r1 up and down that's the right side up and down you can open and close that side and r1 left and right opens that up so let's have a quick a quick look at the internals and very nice i'm sure it is as it would look in real life to as close as you can get on this game at least anyways very nice even down to the little screws and rivets and etc etc so very nice L1 and R1, left stick, left and right, that was, yes, that was your little, your, um, yeah, signals, you can move them in and out. Right stick, left and right, you can move that ladder away, out of the way, into and front, and back here, L1 and R1, right stick up and down, you can lower that rear ladder, like so. All right, so let's move inside for the next. Uh, we press the triangle again, and now we have control group internal animations. L1, right stick, left and right, is your tilt and up and down. So you can tilt your steering up and down left um, with your right stick. R1, we have R1 and right stick, left and right, is your left mirror left uh, oh up and down sorry right stick up and down and left and right is your right mirror l1 and r1 left stick you can open your door and 
L1 and R1, right stick up and down is your seat adjustment. Now let's see here, we have interior lights. If you, if you toggle through R1 and your circle, you toggle through all your light options. So that includes your interior lights and exterior lights. So lots of lights going on there. All right, so let's go back here. Let's close up our sides and attach it to a um, base game header. I've chosen the 41 foot, I do believe. Uh, 28 foot, sorry, 28 foot. Uh, really nice uh, view out the front, as you would expect from the actual one, I suppose. So we'll lower that down and we'll start up our header and drive forward. And as expected, no issues or problems here whatsoever. There's a nice straw swath spread or straw spread. If we stop that and we'll just go here, enable straw swath. There we go. Right. Very nice. All right. So the other one I did something a little bit different with, tested out a little bit differently. And so let's hop on, hop in over there. Let's turn those lights off. I wanted to uh, lower that down. Turn that off. Let's pop in over here. Right. So this one, I have the four, uh, fourteen thousand liter capacity, and we're just going to empty some of that out. I have. Uh, I do not have the dual wheels on this one. I have the uh, just the wider wheels. Now all the options, control options and everything are exactly the same as the other one, so I'm not going to go through them all. We do, uh, the interior looks, as far as I could tell, nearly identical. Unload speed, as you can see here, is pretty good. As you would expect, the animation looks good. I, as I said, I really have not, I rarely, um... I really have any problems with um, harvesters at all. Again, you have the, uh, the 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 triangle button or the top button on the PS5 controller, external and internal animations, and then you're attached. So this, if you may notice, goes much faster because I have the tool height control header on there. <clears throat> And um, so you can see that uh, it does, does operate well with other attachments. And I suppose you want to see it turn around. So we're going to accommodate those who wish to see that turn around. Well, let's go just turn it around here. I'll lift it up just a tad to get it off the ground a bit. Okay, hire a worker. And I did notice that um, it didn't mess around, <clears throat> mess around when it was turning around. Very efficient, so <clears throat> I'm sure you'll be happy with Happy with, happy with its operation in the field. And um, there you go. So that's it. Uh, really nice. A uh, couple of really nice uh, case combines for you Case IH fans out there. The Case IH Axle Flow 130 Series by Agritono on Farming Simulator 22. Thank you all for watching. And remember, it's only a game. So till the next one. Bye for now.